Pretend I'm giving this instruction just like it'd be in class. And then you can just block me out anyways and just get to work. It'd be perfect. So if I wanted to find the domain range and I was given a set of ordered pairs, um, what do I do? Because I'm actually not looking at you. I'm looking at the whole class, even the people over here sitting. I'm act I'll just talk to them, okay? On a video. Is it okay if I just talk to them? Video. What? What? I'll just talk to them. Is, is it recording right? Yeah. I'll just talk I'll to them. All right, since you guys want to learn, since you guys are paying attention, I'll speak. So we have, um, well, I want to find uh, the domain and range given ordered pairs. A couple things you need to remember about ordered pairs. Um, ordered pairs is just a way for us to, you know, show a relation between, uh, between the X and the Y. And what we have is an ordered pair, remember, can be written as an X and a Y. And when graphing, we can actually graph them on an X and Y axis. So that's exactly what all the ordered pairs are. Um, so what we need to do is, if you remember domain and range, domain is going to be the set of all your x values. So if I look over here, I can rewrite these as x comma y, x comma y, right? Each one of these points I can rewrite as an x comma y. So what I'm going to do to find the domain, since the domain is all of my x values, I'm just going to pick each x value. So my domain over here is going to equal negative 1, 0, 2, and three. As my range is going to be the exact opposite. My range is going to be the set of all my y values. So when doing that, what I'll do is I'll pick three, four, ten, and eight, and thirteen, and that'll be the set of all my y values. Alright, and so this problem is really nothing different. It's just another example. Again, if I want to find the domain and range. If I want to find the domain and range, when given a set of coordinate points, you take the x values. So for my domain, it would be 0, negative 2, and 3. And for my range, it would be 18, negative 4, and 20. And that's how you find the domain and range when given ordered pairs.